bit windy. This is got wet paws. Oh, pure chaos. We lost the chimney last night. It's a very windy spot. Uh, the tires for now. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not going anywhere. We're about to head off to a lovely bay that's about 20, 30 minute drive away, around the corner, around the coast. That's hopefully gonna be a bit more protected. We're actually gonna be filming some stuff today with Tom. We're gonna to be doing some challenges, which are a part of the next video. And the challenge we wanna get done at this location is the sentry. Heating the sauna up as hot as we can get it and hopefully passing 100 degrees C. Don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but that's the goal. One handy, baby. One hundred. Hit the sentry. Fire's on. Had first coffee. Second coffee's on. We're basically as ready as it gets. So I'm going to get the film equipment out, and then we're going to get some view shots. Fire is hot. We are 85. at 85 degrees, which is our previous PB. We're in uh, PB territory. It's 85 degrees in there. Yeah. It is heating up. Still, we're uh, committing to keeping the door properly pressed and closed to seal it up because it's uh, leaking quite a lot of heat. Like just my hand is almost burning on this door right now. And it being, you know, maybe one of the more jank builds that are going around. <laughs> Phenomenal craftsmanship. <laughs> more wood equals more. Oh my heat. god, it's aperture needs to come up. Yeah. There's one thing we're going to need for this one. It's a lot of wood. So the sauna's definitely been a success. We've managed to have some great saunas in some amazing locations, usually around the 80 Celsius mark, which is well within the finished acceptable range of that 80 to 100. But we haven't pushed it to its limits. Today, we're in Grunard Bay, and we wanna try and hit that 100. We wanna make the century and see how hot this sauna can go. What better location for it? To be a little cut to drone shots to it. Oh mate, we're at 110. <laughs> Bruh, that's hot. This is a sauna, a sauna, <laughs> to make even the Finns proud. I think actually, to make the Finns truly proud, we need to put some Lula on the sauna. It is time, isn't it? Well, mate, this is gonna hurt. Our, whole, our faces, our eyeballs are just gonna fall out of our faces when you hit this. Go on, big moves. Mate, look at that, like... Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> right, the tips of my ears feel like bacon right now in the frying pan. I think it's time for, for some sauna and then some sea. My favourite thing about this spot is how little effort it takes me to give Molly a lot of exercise and keep her entertained for time. Gone. Pulled over and I found a good spot to do another challenge, which is the 0 to 60. I've almost finished uploading absolutely everything. Mate, what's with all these cars? Oh, yes, go on, lads. As you can see, it's a good spot to get zero to 60. <laughs> now the sauna has already clocked up over 1,100 miles. It's, it's doing all right, it's made it so far. Um, and I think probably one of the things we should test out first is how fast can it do naught to 60? What's your predictions on time, sir? My predictions are going to be 59 seconds. 59 I think we seconds. can do it in under a minute. Seatbelts on, all kinds of safety. Let's see what we can do. I need you to count me in. Two, Two one, go. Okay, we're clocking in. There's the timer, there's the speed. Unfortunately, the next 60 seconds is full of so many spoilers that I just can't let this little clip out. 
but otherwise let's jump back in and see what the 0 to 60 time was on this telly. Three. Oh no, it's Three. not Three. 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 made it yet. <laughs> I have 60. That is right there on the door. One minute, nine seconds. <laughs> that is the 0 to 60 of the sauna. Uh, it made it. It Just didn't make it. To be fair, I don't think it's past 60 much of this trip. It so hasn't really. Is, uh, and uh, it takes takes a very particular road to be able to do it. <laughs> and uh, also, that's one minute, 10 seconds downhill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there no, might, might be a retake, but I think that was a solid, solid go. We're kind of experimenting with some new content. So until we watch it back, we're not really sure how it's going to be. But this is the setup. Check out this. Oh, yeah. Professional driving setup. Look at that boom mic setup. It's pretty lit, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> Multiple camera angles. We're basically top gear with yeah. a sauna. That's uh, that's the goal, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so for the last few days, we've kept passing that guy. And earlier, whilst we were doing the sauna, he actually stopped near us, and we had a chat with him. We gave him a coffee. Um, and he's doing, where's he doing? He's just getting the land to try to grow, it's the, the length of the UK yeah, yeah. cycle. But he's 67 and he's just cycling the whole, basically the whole route that we've driven in the car. Did you say he's done a thousand miles? Yeah, he's done land to try but he's done a little bit more than the official route. And then he's added in the North 500 to the end, so he's actually done like, I mean the actual route is just under a thousand miles. And I think he's probably going to end up to like, 1200, yeah. 1300 miles in 30 days or 27 days or something. It's a solid effort. It's, it's not flat. It's yeah. 67 years old. Yeah, but just got to give him credit where credit's due. I don't think I'd really want to do that right now, and I can probably we're about as peak as it's getting yeah, in terms of age and fitness. Yeah, yeah. Mate, Except respect. That. Tom has done jobs for road chocolate. Look at all that road chocolate. And we're currently having car park croissants, which is quite sophisticated, really. Oh, no. Oh. Is it hitting the banging? Oh, uh, yeah. We just need to get fuel now, right? Oh, yeah. We and there's a petrol it. station just around the corner, so. We're on track for today. We've got fuel. Our bellies had croissant. Internet is chugging. I've uploaded like a hundred videos, which is great. Now we are actually off to camp. We've got approximately 20 minutes driving, was it? 10. 10? Oh, pretty close. Outside, See you at camp. No. I've fully cleared my entire backlog. I now have 30 gigs available on my phone. That excites me a lot. I can vlog. Reason past few have been a little bit short. I haven't had quite as much drone and 360 content in is just because I didn't have space on the phone. But that's just another boundary, another challenge, and you know, something you gotta work with. It's part of the fun. This is where we're camping tonight. So far, it seems to be a car park pretty much entirely for ourselves. And it's got toilets, which is a bonus. And I haven't actually had a look yet, but there's obviously a reason there's a car park here. And I believe there's some crazy rock pools down here. Definitely looks like a big waterfall. Let's go have a look at that. Tom's got his sock game on strong as, as usual, wouldn't expect matching. any less. Yeah, look at this. Look, we're basically matching. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Let's just keep going down these steps. <laughs> Molly's got a stick, life's great. There's definitely some big views around the corner. I think this is a pretty good place to end the vlog, but it's also a great place to get some drone stuff. See you soon.